Hello, welcome to your monthly forecast videos for July 2018. This month we have a partial solar eclipse on Thursday the 12th, followed by a lunar eclipse on Friday the 27th. So for this video, I will be using the Fairy Tarot Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue and the Rider Waite Tarot for your messages. I will be drawing two cards for the eclipses from the tarot deck and a card from the Oracle deck as an overall theme for your July. Okay, so let's get started with your readings. Cancer, let's see what July has in store for you. So the first card will be for the indicator of the solar eclipse mid-month, and then the second card will be the lunar eclipse at the end of the month. Show me Cancer. These cards wanted to flip out. So you have the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Looks like you may be hearing some news. Somebody will be contacting you. Looks like either through a call or an email. Or an unexpected like face-to-face -face discussion. But it looks like the King of Swords is going to be communicating with you. So that's just a side note. Let's see here. There's the King of Cups. Okay, so the King of Cups, I always look at the Kings as cardinal energy. So it's cardinal water, which would be Cancer, your sign. Sometimes I look at the Queen of Cups as uh, Cancer, but traditionally, this would be how I would interpret the King of Cups as Cancer. So he's very sensitive, wears his heart on his sleeve, cares for everybody, um, is very likable, um, just a nice person. Nice person, easy to get along with as well. Um, with any cup sign, there can be a little bit of um, emotional manipulation or um, not necessarily coming from like a malicious place, but in order to sort of, you know, get what you want in life or, you know, this person, whoever he represents in your life, in order for him to get what he wants, he tends to, you know, manipulate his way through, um, you know, by sort of pulling the strings of other people's feelings and emotions. Just because he's so in touch with his own feelings, um, it's easy for him to be ultra aware of other people's feelings and if that works for his advantage then he sort of plays upon that but generally this isn't like a mean-spirited person um, we're all just trying to get what we want and what we need in the world so you know however the approach is to that is going to be different for each person so either way um, it looks like the communication comes in around the solar eclipse that I was seeing with those cards that sort of popped out. This is about communications back and forth. It can be a card of online, um, the internet, any sort of apps, anything like that, that tends to rule our worlds uh, these days. But it looks like there are plans here. It's about making plans. And these plans could come pretty quickly since fire moves very quickly. It looks like sort of sudden communication that just comes in and everything gets lined up and then you're sort of taking action from there. So it could be an opportunity that comes in for you that's you're having to sort of make a, a, a quick decision that would be based upon your feelings or your gut feelings. Oh, this is interesting. Look who's under the King of Cups. It's the King of Swords. I definitely feel like you're going to be hearing from the King of Swords. Um, this person is very direct in what they want. Um, in some cases, it could be an ex or like an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. But on the other hand, it could just be someone that is very um, sharp and very good with business. Okay. 
both of you have similar personalities in the fact that you're initiators, right? So cardinal signs are initiators. So it looks like um, you're sort of wanting to take the lead. This person's wanting to take the lead. Um, hopefully there's not competition here, but you're sort of looking in the same direction and working together. And if this is the case, you could really move mountains as far as progress, um, really make a lot of progress very quickly this month. It looks like for the lunar eclipse, um, now that you've sort of jumped into whatever new scenario this is with this other person, it looks like a partnership that you're going to be moving forward in. You're then now sort of taking a step back and looking at all of the things that you have to do. Um, so here come the logistics of this great enterprise um, or this great vision that you have that you're going to be taking action on. It's like you've now you've got to do the like the the work. So you're rolling up your sleeves and you're sort of trying to figure out what's the first priority. What's the biggest priority? You've got a lot to do. You've got a lot on your plate. And it says here, you know, cuz sevens I think are mostly about pause and action. So it's like you're sort of trying to figure out the best strategy in order to move forward towards the end of the month. Um but yeah, you've got then just like a heap of stuff in front of you that you've got to sort of, you know, like, I guess, get through or chip, chip away through. So it looks like there's somebody that you're going to be working with or hearing from. It could be their idea and then you sort of jump on board. Um, or you could be waiting to hear back from somebody um, in June and then you hear from them, you know, July around or before the solar eclipse. Okay. I'm going to draw a card for the advice for Cancer. Let's see what comes up for Cancer as far as the advice for July. Okay. There we go. I actually felt like it was this bottom card. I'm going to take this one. What is it? Five of Spring. Okay, so this is about competing goals, differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or other people. Again, it says overly ambitious people, but I actually don't feel like it's overly ambitious. I feel like it's just two very ambitious people, right? You've got the... Um, your significator card is cancer and then you've got somebody else here which again is both very cardinal energy with both very powerful um, energies and i was saying here if you're not butting heads and you're in alignment you could accomplish a lot together but um there could also be the other chance that your goals or your opinions may differ um doesn't look like there has to be a big blowout, but it just looks like sort of a struggle to keep things on course the way that you had envisioned them in this card. And it's interesting that I also see like this bee here that's moving and bees are, this is like a busy bee, right? So it's like you got a lot and there's two of them. That's what I'm seeing with the fire here is like busyness could actually translate to business. So it looks like a business partnership or a business opportunity. Um, and there is a little bit of competition, but it could be healthy competition as well. Either way, this person motivates you to get going. So we'll see how that works out on an individual basis. But this is sort of the general theme for cancers for the month of July. So this was your message for July. If you liked it, leave a like. If you like my content, please subscribe. And if you would like a private reading, I'm available through Skype, phone, or in person if you're in the LA area. You can book a reading through my website, sungoddessashley.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Have a great month. Take care and be well.